Can we go back? This is the moment Tonight is the night We'll fight till it's over So we put our hands up like the ceiling can Alright, so you try to load up my menu file And then, oh It just goes to a black screen Forcing you to restart your Wii Go on USB loader. You try to. Let that load. Try to play a game that you already have on your USB. Try to play it. Oh, but, oh, it, it just brings you back to the homebrew. But don't worry, I have a fix for that. You just have to watch. Alright, so, what you're gonna wanna do is you boot up your Wii, and make sure you have the homebrew channel. If you don't have the homebrew channel, um, there will be other videos on YouTube, or I will make a, another video how to get homebrew channel on your Wii. Alright, so... Go to the homebrew channel. Alright, then, uh. Uh oh. Okay, so then you're gonna wanna go to. Um, if you don't already, get a two, D2X CIOS installer. You have to get this, alright? get this uh, I'll, t I'll link it down in the description below put in your apps folder on your SD card all right once you've done that just load it all right now just press any button all right now what you're going to want to do is press continue, you're going to want to scroll all the way down, if my control will work, go scroll all the way down to 249, press A to install it, this is currently installing the iOS in order to make my menu fi and the usb loader work also to make we flow work if you have it so yeah just let all this install i'll come back to you when it's done okay so after letting it finish installing uh this number right here should show up as green if it's green that means you did it it's good all right now we press B to exit. I guess this takes a while. Alright. Yep, exiting. <clears throat> We're back to the homebrew channel. And, uh. Now you can go on my menu file if you want. Or you can go on a USB loader or Wii Flow if you want. Um, let me show you what to do. Like, uh, if you want to install the channel on your Wii, go to Multi Mod Manager. If you don't have that, um, like it should be on websites out there. You can install it and put it on the apps folder on your uh, SD card. Alright, load it. Now, what you're going to want to do is, um, you're going to want to go to WAD Manager, right here, WAD Manager. Um, this, this is just folders I have. Oh, whoops. Uh oh. Okay, WAD Manager. Um, 
this is just a folder I created um, modding channels I guess and uh, if you install that uh, my menu file wad in the description below just click um, the my menu file one and click install and if you um, did the USB loader one in the description below also uh, press A and install that one I already have it installed so I don't need to again alright and then you're gonna want to exit home press the home button uh, and then exit the system menu Hold on, let me fix this. Alright, and if you did everything that I said, alright, the USB loader one should show up, and the My Menu 5 one should show up too. So, first, uh, let's do the My Menu 5. To show you that it works. Oh, and there you go. No more black screen. And uh, make sure you have a CSM folder if you want to install some uh, Wii backgrounds on your thing. Um, and also, make sure you have Preloader. I encourage you, get Preloader. Because if your Wii ever bricks, then you have Preloader. It'll save your Wii from always being bricked. Now I'm gonna exit because I don't have preloader installed on here. Yeah, I don't wanna brick my Wii in case I do. So there you go, that works. Let's go to USB loader. USB loader. Alright, if you have like a IOS, ISOs or WBFS, WBFS is like on your uh, USB, your game should show up. But let's try to load into a game. See if it returns us back to the homebrew. Oh, nope. Would you look at that? I'm able to play it now. Now, uh, I... The reason why it says, like, the CTGP thing, uh... There's a video on how to do that on the internet. Uh, so you really don't need a Mario Kart disc to do the CTGP or to do the Wii MF MMFI to go back online, but you do have to wait 10 days, so... Um, yeah. So yeah, that's how to get the My Menu file and the USB loader and Wii Flow to work. If it ever just like brings you back to the home menu or just cuts to a black screen, um, get the D2X installer down in the description. Um, like I said, the WAD files, those are just channels. That way you can have these on your Wii. You don't have to keep going on the homebrew channel. Now, uh, yeah, this will be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like, uh, comment down below, subscribe. And peace out.